I must admit you caught me off guard with the dinner invitation, but that was fantastic. Well, thanks. I've always been known for my cooking. Well, yet another trait I can brag about to the boys at the shop. Well, I suppose it's my time to leave. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot my coat. Here, allow me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Had no idea I'd learned so much about Eastern European history when I woke up this morning. Well, you know, it's what us academics enjoy the... Do you like whiskey? Do I, hmm? Whiskey, bourbon, I, uh have this bottle here. Well, I admit to not being much of a drinker, but. Well then, one for the road. One for the, well, I suppose one couldn't hurt. To continued health. Indeed, continued health. You like it? It's been a very long time. Have you ever been married, Gerald? Excuse me? Married, you know, till death do you part, so on? I. Well, yes, I, I suppose I was married. Tell me about her. She was beautiful. She was a painter, surrealist. She could go on and on about painting. Modern theories, the classics. She could see beauty in all things, you know? Always an optimist. You could never catch her on a bad day. Not even when the cancer came. She was young, so was I. I'll never know what she saw in a fool like me, but that's just how she was. She died. I told myself I'd never drink again when she passed. for the road, I suppose. I suppose. What day did she die? August, years ago. Might we talk about something a bit more positive? I hear the weather is supposed to be changing. What so day did she die, Gerald? I, I don't understand. Why do you want to know? August 16th. 1996. A local drunk, hard worker, loves his wife. Gets a concerning call. He speeds away from the local tavern, the only one in that sleepy little town. At 2.01 a.m., 
Eclipse, a small car. Four door, blue. Sending it into the overpass. Its driver and two of its passengers killed instantly. The 911 call is responded to at 2.40. The drunk by then is long gone, nowhere to be found. Presumably on his way to the only hospital in the county to see his dying painter wife. I, I didn't realize. You never asked me, Gerald if I had ever been married, or if I had children. I'm so sorry, Elaine. I'm so sorry, Elaine. Drink up, Gerald. 